hate the bar. Yes, Mad Hog. Billy Fuller. That was so mature. Yes, so immature. Okay, so, the bar! This, this is it! This is the moment everyone has been waiting for! Every, and by everyone, I mean me! And this, is ch- this is chapter 5, which is up to type, which is titled No Use Crying Over Spilled Blood. I think there will be a lot of crying in this if there's blood spilled. <laughs> uh, I'm, already cried, I'm already crying internally for the lame pun, but okay. <laughs> Unless it's bloody milk, because, you know, you're British, so bloody milk, get it? Because you say bloody all the time. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, shh, I'm on fire. I'm burning alive, in fact. Ooh, put it out, put it out. Where's the bucket of water you promised? Um, there's still some swamp mud stuck to the bucket still. I'll take what I can. So anyway, this is it. Last time... Last, last time we left our heroine, she was about to get bitten to death by her crazed roommate, who just happened to be a vampire. Yeah. It was completely out of the blue. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> Indeed. It was, a, it was a total twist and surprise. I mean, who could have ever thought that the one she sus- Octavia suspected was actually a vampire turned out to be a vampire all along? That is such brilliant, such a brilliant twist. They, they pulled off a Shyamalan. A Golden Age Shyamalan. <laughs> Is it the... Okay, okay, enough with that. <laughs> yes, let's do enough with that. We gotta f- destroy the cliffhanger that is yes, hanged over our heads. Let us feel, let us destroy all cliffhangers in the world. So let's get so anyway, started. You, anyway, so... uh, uh, okay, let's start this. <clears throat> and just where do you think you're going? Should I start the narration on you? Yes, yes, that was the okay. first line. Okie dokie. Vinyl snapped, planting a hoof on my chest. No, not Vinyl Scratch. She, or it, or whatever it was, wasn't Vinyl Scratch. Something else had taken over. Something animalistic. Something feral. I swallowed, afraid to speak, squirming. I yelped as I was grabbed by her magic, her horn aglow, hurling me onto the soft bed. I bounced once and sat back up, watching the vampire, trying to hide myself with my hooves. Because, you know, hooves are a great way to defend yourself against vampires. Um, you know, for all we know about vampire ponies, that could actually be true. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you, you cannot get through my hooves of steel, of, of massive steel. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this reminds me of that fant- of fan- of the fantastic defensive move from that show that was called uh, Ultimate Muscle. Ultimate Muscle, yes. <laughs> Remember that? You know the show? Oh. Ultimate Muscle, Ultimate yes, Muscle. Yes, I know that. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Oh. Pro wrestling with shonen fighting anime. What could possibly be more genius than that? <laughs> <laughs> that surely wasn't handled by for kids, may- mayhaps. Yes, because the original Japanese was called Kinikuman. <laughs> that was silly Japanese. You know, uh, you, l- listen, ultimate muscle sounds so ultimate. It's 90s. Well, early 2000s. But anyway, let's continue. If I can't see her... She can't see me. If I can't see her, she can't see me. You know, I hate, I hate to bring it to you, but Octavia, you might be in the wrong movie. This is not Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> she she obviously got her uh, tips from uh, typical 80s horror movies, damsels. Um, and uh, actually, it only, it only works on movies that were not slashers. Mm-hmm. A quick... uh, well, well, technically, Nightmare was a slasher film because there are people getting slashed, but that's not just just a nitpick. A quick peek revealed otherwise. I barely <laughs> managed <Peek-a-boo>. to a el- <laughs> to just peekaboo the sound effect. This I said a peekaboo. Yes, I, I improvised. Uh, 
I barely managed to elicit a squeak. Squeak! <laughs> my heart skipping a beat as she appeared by my side. You shouldn't have gotten involved. She snarled. I quivered, sniffing, hypnotized by her crimson eyes and her fangs jutting in, jutting from her jaw like canines, sharp uh, and pointy. Yes, they are canines. You mm. know, the fangs. Yeah, they're, they're really thin and, and that can pen puncture wounds and such, like dogs, I guess. Wait, Octavia, keep it together. This is no time to. This is no time to get excited. This is no okay? time to monologue to yourself. This is no time to. This is no time to have dirty thoughts. You're about to be killed. <laughs> both, anyway. o- both o- looked equally vicious and deadly, but mesmerizing at the same time. <laughs> what did I just tell you? Priorities. <laughs> You're doing so so wrong. I couldn't help but stare. Stop staring. It's creepy. It's cre- it's killing the mood. <laughs> the mood. <laughs> oh boy. It's your line. I know. Quit your snivelling, Octi. I haven't even bitten you yet. Sheesh. <laughs> I know. I know, right? She's so snobby and so uptight. Even when even when she's about to die. <laughs> Yeah, you would. You, it's like so rude of her not to let, let not to let vinyl bite her neck. Okay, uh, those very words made my blood run cold. Maybe that was a good thing. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she. Pref, maybe she. Pref, she prefers her blood to be a room temperature. <laughs> Vampires probably preferred their blood warm and sticky. Yes, my joke was better. Yes, I agree. I swallowed. Please, I whispered tearfully. You're you're very convincing in this. I I didn't think so. I'm just being silly. She moved closer. I scrambled back. My <laughs> my rump bumping against the headboard. I was trapped, cornered. No, please. I mean, no place to run or hide. Sorry, oh, I, I read there are, wrongly. There are, there are. Yes. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. It, it's, it was, it, I, this, how could I not possibly reference that? Of course. Honestly, it says no place to run or hide. How could anyone possibly resist the urge? <laughs> Probably a lot. Okay, I'll continue with it. Nowhere to run. Please go on. <laughs> I won't tell any pony. I swear. I cried. <laughs> it's a pink. Is it a pinky promise? <laughs> Put a cupcake in her eye, and then she probably will. Uh, I just wanted to do a f- summary of that one. <laughs> How pathetic I was, begging for my life. But what would you say? What would you do? Octavia, do not. It's too early to break the fourth wall like that. <laughs> you don't even have the power to do that. No way, I should have said it like this. You don't have the power to do that, Captain. <laughs> and now I did the typical obvious joke. Onwards. Yes, uh, he completely flew over me, by the way. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. She grabbed me roughly, wrestling me down onto my back. Oh, what a slobber knocker! You, she's got, she's going red like a scum dog! Oh no, she's a, now it's a pie driver! It's a pie driver! <laughs> no wait, it's a cat fight! Cat fight! Pinning my legs back, licking her lips at her tantalizing parade. Figure four leg lock! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's gonna do the sharpshooter on her! <laughs> oh no, he's preparing, he's preparing to, Oh no, it's the switching music preparing to connect! <laughs> I, we, can, we, can, we can do this all night, really. All wrestling moves that we know. Yes, <laughs> the pedigree. <laughs> no, no longer did I feel her warmth as her body pressed against mine, as she leaned in, her face above mine. Yeah, it's your line here. Atomic leg drop! Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Face above mine. Okay, okay. This is both really scary and really sexy. 
not the you, two things you want. You know, she whispered in my ear, her voice a sultry coo. None of this would have happened if you just kept your nose out of this. Again with the noses! It's a muzzle! You're right, Vinyl. My mind flashed back to Manhattan. Roughly five months. A flashback! No! No! no. Are you kidding me? Now a flashback? Really? If this it's... is not the right moment. Oh, creep, yeah? By the time she gets past one sentence, her neck will be bitten. Okay, um, and by the way, it's a flashback, so... <laughs> okay, should I continue okay, I'll, this? I'll do this. <clears throat> it's a flashback, so... Flashback voice. That past week had been somewhat of a nightmare for me. So far, I'd nearly gotten into a bear fight. And a bear fight? sent Rob from me, and was now aimlessly wandering around the streets of Manhattan at some ungodly hour past my bedtime, looking for some nightclub among dozens of nightclubs for that blasted unicorn with the electric blue mane. Final Scratch, better known as their stage main. Stage name. DJ Palm 3. I felt a little proud of myself, accomplishing so much in so little time. I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than the great and powerful Trix's magic show. Oh, snap. I didn't know that Inspector Gadget was the voice of Octavia's flashback voice. Oh, I think so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> completely, completely accidental, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I couldn't help but think of Inspector Gadget with that voice. Inspector Tavy. Inspector Octi. Okay. It was, a, it was a city establishment. It was a worn out, worn down brick building with ever, with ever, with even cityier ponies sat hanging around outside. Then get the sunflower seeds off them. What? It'd be less seedier that way if they took the flunk sunflower seeds off them. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Carry that on. Was, that was literally the worst joke I've heard you spout so far. It's a pun. <laughs> the worst pun, joke, visual gag, and, and whatnot ever. Ridiculous. I mean, wow, the bar. You're better than this. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Carry on, please. <clears throat> So this was the same nightclub I had wandered into the other day. See how depressed I am right now, because of you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Where I had met her, I was going to need, a, to need a real drink to cope with the robotic music, the robotic ponies, and the flashing lights. There are robot ponies? Ooh, is it, what, so they're drinking robot oil for uh, alcohol? Well, this, well robot this, alcohol? This is starting to sound like an episode of Doctor Who's An Assistant. <laughs> you know, when they go to the future and they end up with a race of uh, uh, cyber ponies bent on taking over Equestria, and which which are kind of a clash between the Dalek and the the cyber people in Doctor Who, which I don't know the name. Huh? Yeah, the stupid hey. close Cybermen. It's it's very easy. The uh, or oh, oh, whatever. Yeah. Mm. What was I really doing there? What was I really doing there? Gate crushing their little party with my scarf and bow tie? What was I looking for? I was just some dumb counterlot filly in a place where dumb counterlot ponies were less popular than the than the authorities. Double snap. And the word filly again. <laughs> yes, but you know It's a flashback. Well actually it's five months really, ago. Uh, counterlot filly, because you know you know, what's a girl you know? It's the in this context is the is the human is the pony equivalent of the human. What's a girl have to do to get some drink around here? Ah, you know that kind of the use of the girl. Yeah, I see what you're doing there. Uh, well, I see okay. what he's doing here. Well, thank you for that because I really don't. <laughs> when you when you've been living in Manhattan for less than a month and can't find your way around after being fired for a disastrous game calving, you know Octavia. There, are, there is a time and place to, to reveal to us the story of your life. This is not such time. Anyway, after being fired for a disastrous ga Grand Caliphate Gala. Oh, flashbacks to the season one finale. <laughs> and here it's... She was fired because of Pinkie Pie. Pinkie because Pie has got people uh, fired. She was fired because of the main six. Uh, I think... 
I think it, especially because of you're going to love me. Especially because of that. <laughs> yes, I think everyone knows why. <laughs> and you're in some lonely nightclub in the middle of some poor slum, and you can still have to go to call to call yourself a musician. Then you know you're a loser. How is this my life? Again, reference to Epic Wolf Time. <laughs> so basically, this is the this is this is what she thinks when she's about to die. This is the this is the proverbial life flashing before your eyes before you die moment, and this is the best she could think of. Well, that's a that's a bit of, that's a bit depressing. Yeah, a bit of a downer for her, you know. You know, I think she didn't. I I started to think she might not have any happy memory whatsoever with her family because you know it was implied. Yes, uh, I think we could all agree on that. Okay, let's see how how our hero will be, will be able to uh, get get out alive of this situation if she if she can manage. I struggled to no avail. I felt my face heating up. Just relax. She, Doctor Claw, crooned me. <laughs> okay, she's either going to, she's either going to bite her or she's going to rape her. <laughs> but actually, biting her could be considered a metaphor for rape, so it's kind of the same thing. Like diabolic lovers with blood rape. Actually, I was thinking of that hor of that really horrible scene from the that really really horrible moment from the Helsing OVA. The fourth episode. Uh, I don't know much about Helsing, sadly. Well, you know what? You're not missing much of anything. I mean, it started off pretty well. It had potential, but its flows are so unbelievably crippling. You would are so crippling, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, <laughs> I said. Okay. She, I said when you said just relax. I said she, Doctor Claw, crooned me. Yes, yes, I heard you. That I, <laughs> I chose not to comment on that for respect on your. Intelligence. I had one last shot at this. She was. She obviously wasn't in control, right? That's a huge bet. Vinyl scratch. I swallowed, throwing as much passion as I could into my words. I love you. You've got to be kidding me. What is this? Seriously? I. Are you really clutching at straws? <laughs> <laughs> well, my my object and my affection is trying to bite me for my blood. I guess I should tell her I love her so much. So, uh, this is, you know how vampire love stories work? Good ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thinking back, I realized how shallow I sounded, throwing those words out there. I saw her eyes dilate for a second. And for a second, her demeanor changed, her stance loosened, and her expression had changed from predatory to perplexed. I would be perplexed too if I were about to kill somebody and that somebody would tell me oh, that, he, that he loves me. I would be really perplexed. <laughs> <laughs> confused, had it, confused. Had it worked? Had reciprocating her love for me changed her back? Yes! I gone through to her uh, a bit too soon to be saying that, don't you think? In fact, final. Oh, thank goodness! Nice try. Horse apples. Oh wait, final sneered. Horse apples. Yes, horse. What kind of a swear? What kind of a swear word is horse apples? It's like it's like how Simon the Sorcerer in Simon's 3D said, "Oh, bollards." You know, we should really do a Let's Play video, Let's Play series of Simon the Sorcerer one of these days. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> anyway, did you think that the power of love was going to save you? That's the power of love. And her, and her answer? Well, yes. Double face palm. <laughs> I face palmed. Well... <laughs> Drat! Double and triple drat, madly! <laughs> Again with the drat thing here. Drat! Well, every pony, I tried my best. Nice knowing you lot. You Who can't. Who are you talking to? I have... She sees me o over dramatizing her death, I think. 
You can't say I didn't at least try, and not be devoured by some blood bloodthirsty creature of the night. Game over, every pony. Oh, yet to... <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That's an alien reference. Game over, everyone. Game yes. over. Uh, you, I, you know, you heard it so many times, you'll even forget it's from aliens. Yeah. Now, just on the scene. I'm going to die. She's going to bite me. Maybe I'll pass out from blood loss. I felt her teeth scrape across the soft flesh of my neck. I cringed, tensing up, feeling her fangs sink into my neck. Well, that wasn't so bad. I mean, sure, I was bleeding now. It felt like getting a shot after she bit me. <laughs> okay, this is this is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Octavia, you know, you know, a vampire biting is supposed to be a really romantic scene. You, you're kind of selling it cheap. <laughs> I felt a suck and lap at my wound. I let her feed in silence and clucked my tongue. Cuckuck, cuckuck. I don't think it meant. I don't think she meant it like that. <laughs> it said clucked, though I couldn't help it. I think she meant. Uh, no, a victim had clicked, not clucked. Then again, the U and the I is close together, so maybe that's it. Staring at the ceiling, she was certainly vulnerable in this position, but it wasn't like I could grab a lamp and smack her of it. Well, this was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Most awkward vampire biting moment ever. I think, I, hey, Mad Hog, I think vinyl's a vampire... Pia Virgin. No, she isn't. <laughs> well, I was I was trying to be silly. It wasn't... No, uh, no, I know for a fact she isn't. It wasn't the most pleasant experience, I'll admit, and it wasn't quite the as romantic as I hoped. You had hopes. Yeah, um, you know she she used to read stupid vampire novels. I know, but still, <laughs> I, I that's because she. Actually wished for it in, in in subconsciously. Why do you think she pressed so much to she, she did a third grade to vinyl to discover she was a vampire? She pressed so much. She insisted, even though she knew she, it was dangerous to do because she was attracted to the to, to the danger. She was attracted to the mystery. Mm. That's that's psycho that's an interesting psychological facet of, of Octavia that might have been developed that might that she might have developed for because of a lifetime of you know restrictions. <laughs> that paints a really interesting portrait of the main of the, of the main character. <laughs> and I'll continue with that with that. Yes, yeah, yes, please do. Sorry for my uh, sudden burst of analysis there. Preposterous as the idea sounded. Having some pony's jaw clamped around your throat wasn't as fun as it seemed. <laughs> you said it like that, it doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a note to send a very angry, disapproving letter to the author of my, no of my novel, <laughs> telling them how the wrongs they were. <laughs> Is it me or the tension now has become more comedic, this payoff? Yeah, this, this novel has, a, has, a, has, the, has an habit of doing this, actually. Still, I take, a, I, I take having a vampire suck my blood rather over getting my blood taken at the doctor's any day of the week. It was certainly a much more intimate experience. Okay, now she's just delirious. <laughs> was the room spinning? Or was it just me? Oh my, I feel quite light-headed. Vinyl pulled away, my blood staining her muzzle. Last chance. Oh boy, oh I... boy. Devar, you better sit tight for this one. Okay, seatbelt. <laughs> Helmet. Helmet. Please. Neck brace. Uh, double uh, secondary seatbelt for, for good measures. Yeah, uh, uh, eye goggles. Yeah, I, I think I'm protected. Assure a pro assure a proper distance between you and the airbag. Okay. <laughs> and Okay. Okay. Here we go. 
I leaned forward, mustering all my strength, all of my courage, putting every ounce of love I had into my kiss. <laughs> Pressing my lips against hers, <laughs> closing my eyes, and moaning into the kiss. Moaning! <laughs> Uh, this makes sense. Yeah, totally, it does. I'm del I'm so delirious and light-headed, I might pass out. You know what, I might as well kiss the lady who bit my neck. <laughs> it's only polite. It's only human. Oh, wait. At that point, I was more worried about cutting my tongue rather than the taste of my own blood. When I pulled away, I saw her looking down at me, me her jaw agape. Oh no, and and there, and there it is. Please snap out of it. Uh, Octi? Okay, it's official. This is the this is this is Sleeping Beauty all over again. Yes, kisses it's, fix everything. Yes, <laughs> K kisses are the cure for every illness. Comatose girl, kiss her, she wakes up. She wakes up twice. <laughs> it works both. It works for two princesses. <laughs> okay, she. Your lover is a is a bloodthirsty vampire. Kiss her. She regains. She regains her sanity. It works every time. Effect. Effect guarantee. And it only costs two ninety nine, princess. <laughs> okay, I had expected her to tell me that I was a darn good kisser. <laughs> Seriously, context. I'm going to use both my hands for this. Uh, or something along, or something along those lines. Oh, final, I said woozily. You're back to normal. <laughs> she spotted my bite marks and gasped. Octi! Oh yes, I think I might have been bitten by this beautiful bear. Oh my god. I drawled. I drawled. She drunk. Well, she she's suffering from blood loss. Would you mind grabbing me some bandages? <laughs> Best line ever. <laughs> Hold on, I'll save you. Dun, 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 Final gasp. Oh rush, just some antiseptic, I hit when I get infected. I think I'm gonna pass out now, if you excuse me. <laughs> this was, this is brilliant. No, excuse me, this is, this is pretty, this is gold. This is comedy gold. This is great. You cannot deny this author definitely had talent for this kind of situation. <laughs> for the comedy, I think, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, inspect the gadget, Europe. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, I okay. think it is. <clears throat> now, Gadget, as I was saying. Oh, wait, this is this this will never work. Now, like I was saying, it was a long time ago. Octi, the violent scratch yanked off her headphones, hugging me tight. I pushed her off of me nervously. So what brings you to my part of the town? She asked cockily. Oh, she well. Asked, she asked cockily. Okay. Oh, well. I stammered bashfully. I just thought I safe. thank you for saving me the other day. Don't mention it. Hey, now that you're here, how about we go dancing? Dancing? I gulped. Oh, um, well, you see, the thing is... But she wasn't listening, and before I knew it, I was on the dance floor in the sea of ponies, unable to see my own hooves in front of my face, and dancing along with my new friend. It's called the dance floor, and that's what it's for, so come on, come on, fog! Got to go with the flow, ah, with the music. I guess Octi wasn't very good with the flow at this next line. <laughs> I was an awful dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I was, however, she didn't say anything. And I had to admit, I, it was actually quite nice. Not the part where I was dancing in close proximity with a bunch of sweaty ponies. Sweaty ponies. Just spending time with her. 
Time to wake up, Octavia. Time to wake up. <laughs> Shall I continue with this narration? Please do. When I came to, I sat up, wincing at the soreness in my neck. <laughs> Your neck is a sore loser. <laughs> oh, that was my worst. Well, well, that was my worst joke for the night. We must always have a worst joke somewhere. It's part of the being an entertainer. We have to have a worst joke somewhere. Exactly. Touching it, I felt bandages wrapped around my throat. I heard the sound of weeping. Oh, here we here comes the drama bomb. Vinyl. Big time. Big time. Vinyl sat in the corner of the room, as far oh, away from is, me as is possible. She in her, is she in her, uh, you know, uh, emo corner? <laughs> I, 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 can, I, picture, I picture her looking at the corner of the room, uh, holding her knees, and having, you know, a, a thick black fog, black, black fog around her head, with, the, with, with giant letters saying the word gloom over and over it. <laughs> Only problem with that is, is that they they're not Lyra, so they can pose themselves like that. They still they can pretty much still hold their knees. <laughs> that doesn't. Okay, sorry. As far away from me as possible, she seemed almost docile now, harmless. I was a little dizzy, only a little bit. I guess I hadn't lost that much blood. Only enough to com to go completely bonkers. <laughs> and in that moment. I felt something rise inside of me. Uh -oh. I, I didn't know how to feel. Angry, I suppose. Any pony would feel angry. Betrayed. After. <laughs> after. Uh, yeah, after. That would, be, that would be the reasonable thing to say. But, you know, it was kind of your fault to begin with. Yeah, it was kind of your actions that got you in there. So you kind of have no one to blame but yourself. And of course, uh, you cannot blame Vinyl because she's a vampire. I mean, she didn't choose. She didn't choose to become a vampire. Vinyl, I whispered. Vinyl, are you all right? She turned around, her eyes bloodshot and bleary. She, no longer the shade of crimson, but now a beautiful magnet, ne, mag, mag, magneta. Mag, 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 oh, magenta. That's the word. My, it's like, what is, Magilla Gorilla? <laughs> what is wrong? Magilla Gorilla Gorilla for sale. <laughs> no, I'm not all right, Ogdi. I just beat my best friend. Best day ever. <laughs> <sighs> Am I a vampire now? I asked cautiously. Vinyl shook her head, sniffing. No. <laughs> oh, come on, a bit more feeling I like you're sniffing, like you lost a puppy. No. There you go. Now everyone will believe you. You're an actor. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, well, oh, well, well then. That was a bit of a disappointment. She wailed again. <laughs> but now, my best friend hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I sat up in protest. Vinyl, I don't hate you. I just lost control. Vinyl ignored my words. I tasted the blood and I thought of you. And, and, and how? She sniffed. How delicious you tasted. I was so thirsty. Now I knew why she had gone to the hospital. And I wasn't quite sure if, she, if me tasting delicious was supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> But I took it as one anyways. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, take what you get. <laughs> but Octavia, you're totally delicious. You are a delicious pie. <laughs> you know, Vinyl, I would have let you bite me sooner if you really needed a drink. Yeah, that sounds completely reasonable. I mean, if my friend wanted to drink from me, I'm sure I would let them. We're in love. No, we're not. <laughs> actually, actually, we are. <laughs> I said quietly, trying to lighten the mood, grinning. I, uh, I, I just snapped, you know, like that. I understand. Not really. I didn't. Not in the slightest. It's obvious to me she just wants to get bitten again. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> your best friend's trying to kill you. 
I shot. Yeah, try, try to let that sink in. I shot back. Hey, I wasn't trying to kill you per se. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> no, no, vinyl scratch. Don't say that. I snapped. I stood up, moving over to her and lying next to her on the floor. She flinched and shrank. I never seen her like this, so small. She was always bigger than life in my eyes. And then I slapped her. Well, that was completely out of nowhere. <laughs> Remember, folks, if if your best friend is inconsolable, slap them around the face. It does yes. wonders. Always works. <laughs> In fiction. Just take it. Just take it from me and Madhog when we slapped each other like crazy. Yes, like this. Ow! It was just, it was just a, an an exemplary slap. Yes. She looked at me, stunned. Oh. Octi, the ow, oh, Octi, that kind of. I slapped her again for good measure. Oh come on! <laughs> the virus scratch torture porn hour. <laughs> I think you've made your point. Vinyl sniffed, rubbing her sore cheek. One more time, because I was still <laughs> mad at her, <laughs> and it felt really, really good. <laughs> I think we've got a masochistic... Well, I've got a bit of a sadist on our hands. Uh-huh. Well, gang, well, gang, it's time to split up. <laughs> Repeat after me, Vinyl Scratch. You are not a monster. I'm... She shuddered. Not a monster. Good. Wait, I... Devar, Devar, I hear, I hear my own echo. Oh. Uh, about now... Now, it's okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. I smiled, satisfied. Yes, I am not a monster. I'm just an awful best friend. And with that, she buried her face in her hooves again. Ugh, I wasn't getting anywhere with her. I watched as more tears began to flow again. Her magenta eyes shimmered, glassy. And she blinked, drops sliding down her face. My expression softened. Come here. Vinyl made no move to slip away as I pulled her into my arms, kissing her wet cheek, st stroking her mane to soothe her. She rested her ha head against my shoulder, her body racking with each sob. Shh, 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 shh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She sobbed. I'm so sorry. I held her close, squeezing her to remind her I was still there. Her sobs became softer and softer, and her tears stopped flowing as she drifted off. I'm sorry. She mumbled. I know. I'm sorry, too. I think you need to say more than sorry for that. The bar. You know, this sequence was really tense and emotional. I mean... <laughs> this sh we deserve an Oscar for this. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. I mean, you were you you were you were into the zone. I was into the zone. It was really one oh zone of tears and so and sadness. <laughs> I think we pulled it off quite nice. Yeah, I would agree to that. <laughs> then again, I'm uh, I've had more acting experience on stage and cabarets. Anyway, uh, as it turns out. Vinyl Scratch still slept like a log, vampire or not, and was apparently as heavy as one. Ugh! I spent the next hour or two trying to drag her onto my bed. Uh, I think you need to f put her on her own bed. <laughs> Maybe it was the closest one. Okay. No, they still were in the in the room, you know. In our yeah, I know. Uh, I was just I was thinking. Never mind. After changing the sh after changing the sheets. I was going to have a hard time explaining that to the other tenants, but I decided that telling them that it was Vinyl's time of the month was appropriate. <laughs> oh my! With a with a this, ha on the this end. Is, this is uh, uh, wait. So, uh, ponies have periods. Yeah, let's not think about that. 
and too late. Now it's stuck in my brain. And that one joke kind of completely ruined my suspension of disbelief for this chapter because it was so good up until this point. And they had to make this period joke that was really tasteless and bah. Ugh. She was like a big, bloodthirsty teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> All the adorableness. That's yeah, better than the uh, than the teddy bear from Seitakai Yakuin Domo that's in S&M gear. I was thinking of Mono Bear. <laughs> yeah, that too. And the best part of it was that she was all mine. Uh... I giggled, hugging her tight as I too slipped in a, to a, into sleep. <laughs> okay, okay, so we have a bloodthirsty vampire and a creeper. Ow, oh. I'm awake again. Her horn is poking my eye. Ow, that hurt my eye thinking about that. Ow, ow, I hadn't expected my first time sleeping with a unicorn to be so horny. Boo! 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 Get off the stage! And it's your turn now. Okay, I start, I start narrating from here. <clears throat> when I awoke, she was no longer in my arms, and I could smell smoke. Wait, smoke? Smoke! I shrieked. Fire! Where? Vinyl appeared in the doorway, grinning, still missing her glasses that I, that I accidentally broke. Just making breakfast? With wobs? <laughs> I didn't know you could burn juice. Oh, come on, now you're ripping off from Sister Hoof's, from Sister Hoof's social. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to do it properly then. I didn't know you could burn juice. Shut up! Vinyl, oh wait, that's your, your narrating, sorry. Vinyl Vile sheepishly grinned. I tried making a hey sorry for trying to kill you breakfast in bed, but I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I I'd like to have a hey sorry for trying to kill you breakfast in bed. <laughs> it sounds it sounds very homey. Yeah, sounds very tasteful. Now think ta food doesn't taste any better than after surviving a life threatening experience. I think I think vinyl needs also needs a sorry for slapping you three times breakfast. <laughs> uh, okay, it's almost over. Yeah, let's keep going. But but uh, okay, it's you. Ah, uh, well, uh, it's me. Just yeah. Wait, wait. She turned on the stove by herself. I didn't hear any sirens. Wow, you have complete and utter faith in your. Good soon friend. To be, soon to be my friend. <laughs> it's it's the it's the thought that counts, right? Your narrator, remember? I smiled. How bad can it be? You just had to say that, didn't you? Famous last words of any character. <laughs> Vinyl sighed in relief. I think that's Vinyl. Oh, no, wait, it was you who said it. Oh. It's the fault that counts. Oh, it's the fault that... Sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, it's the fault that counts, right? How, I smiled. How bad can it be? How bad Vinyl, can it be? Yeah. Vinyl scythe in relief. Phew. That's good. You're gonna need a spatula to scrape the eggs off the, off, off the frying pan. Oh, and we're all and we're all out of toast. I just bought an entire loaf. That's our vinyl. Did it did it did it I yelled. Well, the toaster didn't agree. <laughs> Vinyl and the toaster had an epic battle. <laughs> this is the ultimate showdown of ultimate toastery. <laughs> so this was the end of the chapter. And boy, this chapter was really good. I mean, this is the point where the story kind of switches entire genres. It begin The chapter begins, begins where the last chapter ended with... Some with, with horror mixed with uh, uh, comedy, creepy, se creepy sexiness. Then it switches, then it slowly switches to comedy, and then comfort. This very tragedy, slice of tragic, dramatic slice of life, slice of life, uh, slice of life moment, and then comedy some more. I think it's a good balance so far. Yeah, it's definitely original with the genres, you know, switching in its yeah, own uh, funny yeah. way. 
cannot, you cannot even consider things to belong to a single genre. I mean, the the way the way media and narratives have changed throughout the years, uh, it's not it's no longer defined by single genres. I mean, anything can be anything at any given time, with li with reasonable limits. So anyway, as of as of now, we are, the mood that the story sets is mostly comedic and lighthearted, with key moments of really dramatic or even tragic situation, horrific in such case. And at this point, this this is the end of the first fifth of the story, and now begins what I consider is to be the best part of the overall novel, which is the moment that in which I develop an actual relationship with all the difficulties that come with it. And we start also developing a very, very cool subtext that creates a parallel between vampires, lesbians, and so and social elitarianism. It's a, a symbolic freeway. Oh boy, did I phrase it badly. Yes, you kinda did. As bad so, as the words of this of the fanfic at times. Yes, this what is this fanfiction doing to me? It is making you drive you insane. <laughs> yeah, so this was chapter five. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time it's, uh, I believe, chapter six. Uh, six comes after five, right? <laughs> oh, so, let, let me check. Uh, one, one chapter. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it wasn't like that in the in uh, the melancholy of Arui Suzumiya, so better be sure about that. <laughs> okay, so this was chapter five, the end of the first fifth of the story. Now it begins a completely different story. I mean, if if if, if it was. If it was Lesbian Fright Night up until this point, now it becomes a uh, vamp vampire version of uh, tr Blue is the Warmest Color. With lots of comedy. <laughs> okay, next time, Chapter 6. Thanks for joining us, folks. Yes, in yes, indeedy. And take care. Take care. Oh, and by the way, Divar. Yeah? She's a Philly Fooler. <laughs> the overthinking, screamy, filly fooler. <laughs> okay, let's stop that joke. We are cutting the joke off. Filly <laughs> fooler. Don't make me stop this recording early. <laughs> and I stopped recording. <laughs>